During the pandemic, as more people stayed home, Okado expanded its operations. We've come to see the largest of its warehouses. Opened in 2018, it processes orders for groceries worth a billion dollars per year. Okado Technology is behind the platform and the thousands of British-made robots which are exported around the world, as well as working 20 hours a day here. So we're now in the hive, and it's called that because the robots are operating kind of like a swarm of bees would. They're being controlled by an AI brain. The 2400 robots here are picking orders very fast when you compare it to a human. Each robot is capable of picking a 50 item order in 5 minutes. When you compare that to a human worker, the same order could take 90 minutes. There are over 50,000 items for the bots to choose from across two grids, one chilled and one at ambient temperature. Each grid is the size of three football fields with goods stacked 21 boxes deep. And in terms of how the robots know what they're doing, well, we've got this hive mind that sits and runs in the cloud, and that knows the exact location of every product in this facility, and it gets reports 10 times a second on each movement of each product, and that is doing all of the planning, working out which bot goes where, what it should pick up, where it should take it. The bots themselves don't have a lot of intelligence, but they rely on the hive mind for their instructions. The bots also rely on the control room, three people per shift who quickly fix anything that breaks down. Sometimes the bot goes into error. So we identify which ones are going down and we quickly work into them. We talk to the bots, we fix them and we get them back working so there's no downtime whatsoever. And this is the bot, I'm going to go into the camera. So it's like a 360 degree camera? Yeah, this is how we talk to the bots. So it's telling me what the error is. So at yeah. the moment it's not balanced. And so can you fix that remotely from here? Yeah. Each robot travels 60 kilometers per day. The total of all the bots is a distant equivalent to four and a half times around the Earth. But humans still play a vital role in packing customers' orders, though this is also managed by artificial intelligence. So the, the AI is telling you where in the bag to put the, the, the item. How many bags do you pack an hour? 400 units per hour. It's a busy job. It is. Yeah. One swap. This is an area that robots are being developed to work in, too. So this is a robot that's designed to collaborate with human workers. He's picking orders for real customers, and it's deciding using its cameras, sensors, and artificial intelligence on what order to put these groceries into the bags. So here he's got some dried mangoes. He's sensing which bag. And he's working a lot slower at the moment because I'm in his safety area. Nav Sandu was a delivery driver for Okado before moving to a new role as robotic crew chief. Do you miss your old job or do you like this job better? Or? I do. I, I miss uh, meeting people every day, but uh, this is challenging um, role to say the least. Um, I do enjoy it. One thing the robots can't currently deal with is picking very delicate items like fruit, but arms with these capabilities are being developed in a research facility. And in the last few weeks, Okado Technology has invested 10 million pounds in autonomous vehicle startup Oxbotica, bringing a vision of providing a fully robotic experience from factory to kitchen closer to reality.